everybody, I am officially 33 weeks pregnant now. Um, you guys are watching this on Friday, so I officially turned 33 weeks today. So I'm just gonna kinda go over week 32 and unbox some of this stuff. Also, we don't have like any update on our apartment yet. So I emailed them yesterday, well Wednesday. Yeah, emailed them Wednesday didn't get an email back and then I called them yesterday and they haven't called back so I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping for the best I will give them a call uh, hopefully today which is Friday that way you might know something before the weekend it's really hard because I, I video the video the day before and then I put it out the next day so when I'm telling you guys what day I'm doing stuff I have to think about it with my pregnancy brain and it's seriously <laughs> it's really hard I did get a few boxes in the mail so I will unbox those really quick and then we'll kind of jump into my pregnancy so I got this I'm in Bentley's room right now uh, with all the boxes because the boys are playing video games and I didn't want that in the background or me bothering them or anything. I bought this tripod to hopefully have it like flex around the hospital bed. That way I can get some of his birth story like on camera. My goal is to try and get his first cry because my family can't be there and so I wanted like grandparents and stuff to hear his first cry so this is what that's for also I opened this one because I wanted to make sure it wasn't Damon's uh, father's day gift that should be coming in the mail I told him he's not allowed to open any packages without me well at all until I received that one I got the hatch and it's the hatch rest so it's like a sound machine nightlight and then time to rise so I got this just so we don't have to turn on the light and wake up the dogs or wake up Damon if he has to work the next day. This will just kind of be my night light for me to change and feed Bentley in the middle of the night. It hooks up to your phone and you can choose the color and everything like that, which is super awesome. And I can't wait to use this. A while ago I did a video on giving you guys tips on registering and getting those welcome packs. So I finally got my Amazon welcome pack. There was a few things that I had to do to receive this, but it's finally here and let's open it and see what I got inside. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got this cute little swaddle blankie and we got two different sets of bottles. So like throughout all of my welcome packs, I really don't think that I'll be needing to buy a bottle anytime soon. Um, so that's really helpful. This one has a binky in it. Um, I got the aquifer diaper rash um, paste and then I got some wipes. And then I got, I also got more of the sample of the detergent that I love and I'm going to be using for him. It smells seriously so good. It's like we washed some of his clothes in it and we just sat there and smelled them because we just could not wait to hold him. So I got some more little testing shampoos and everything like that. So those will go in there with all my samples. And then, oh, I got a onesie. So this is three to six months and it's a Carter's onesie and it just kind of has like animals on it. It's so cute. But yeah, I mean, registries and the welcome packs have been seriously life-saving with like binkies and bottles and stuff. I were set on all of that stuff. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about pregnancy now um, and like kind of how my week 32 went. So 32 weeks, not much really changed in like diet or anything. I'd say the only big change that I've had is I've been having dreams, like end of pregnancy dreams or like one I consider a nightmare. So one of them, one of my dreams was very vivid. 
it feels like it was real life. Damon was getting ready for work and I was getting ready uh, for the day. And I got out of the shower and my water broke and we, I told him we need to go to the hospital. But that's all I remember of that dream. But it was very nerve wracking and scary. And then on Wednesday night, I had a dream that I had him, but I couldn't get to where his clothes were. Um, they were locked somewhere and I needed to get them, but I couldn't. Um, he wouldn't latch, I couldn't feed him. He was getting malnourished. Um, just the typical fears, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, it was just, that one was more like a nightmare because I felt like I could not provide for my baby. But I know that's not the case. I have plenty of clothes. I have formula. I have a ton of other things <laughs> that I can use and I know my family will not let him go <laughs> without anything he needs. So I know these dreams are kind of normal to have towards the end. So that's a little, I don't know. It was like, it was just weird. And you know, that's, that's the thing is people always said you don't know how weird the dreams are so I also wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what he was up to so 32 weeks he's as big as a squash and he's 16.6 .6 inches so right now Bentley is getting ready for his descent and is likely in the head down position now our last ultrasound that I had at 28 weeks he was head down so hopefully he stays that way. Hopefully he's in the proper position. He's also feeling more cramped, which I can tell. I have less of a breathing capacity. Um, he's more in my ribs a lot. Like right here, I can always feel a foot. I feel like right there, yep. And he's just, every movement he makes, I can feel it, I can see it. More hiccups. He probably already had the hiccups a lot. I'm just now feeling them more often than when when he wasn't so cramped because he doesn't have room and so I just feel him. So it says that at 32 weeks, birth still seems far away. To me, it does not feel far away. Uh, I'm actually really nervous, but that could also be because I know that I'm moving and I have a lot to do still. So I feel like time has just flown by and also we've been a little on edge about the apartment and when we're gonna get in and get everything set up for him and that way we can start our new life. Not like new life, but like our life is changing. We're adding a person so our routines are gonna be changing. The way our house is set up needs to be different because we're gonna need, you know, that baby stuff in every room and all that stuff. So I feel like it's approaching fast uh, because I have a lot to do and I feel like I have little amount of time for everything that I feel needs to be done. So some of it's really not flattering. You guys, pregnancy isn't flattering. Being pregnant is a miracle and amazing. You're doing wonders with your body. But uh, being pregnant is, uh, I don't even know like what word to use. It's a roller coaster. You feel lots of different ways. I love having my bump. I love going out and, you know, holding my baby bump and I'm going to miss that, but there's other things that I like, I will not miss. For instance, so these are like what my body is doing at 32 weeks is like more Braxton Hicks contractions. So sometimes I'll get like the worst cramping or pain in my lower abdomen and like on my side, which I'm a new mom, that may not be a contraction, but it does happen randomly and it does not feel very good. To me, I feel like that's a contraction. My, how my mom explained it to me is <laughs> the worst poop pain of your life. So, I mean, when I get those lower abdomen uh, cramps, it kind of feels like a pain that I have to go to the bathroom and then it just kind of goes away. So. I'll save the grosser ones for later and give you guys like a warning so you can skip through it. Also shortness of breath. So I feel very short of breath, no room in my lungs, 
actually Damon and I went to Costco to go pick up some dog food and he was walking way too fast for me. Hello, how are you? Yeah, mommy's talking. He was walking way too fast for me and I had to tell him to slow down because I just can't do that anymore. Before I was pregnant, I was the one to zip in and out of the stores, get in, get done. But now, I have to take it slow or I'm not going to be able to breathe. But even though I am feeling like I'm not getting any oxygen, my baby is getting plenty of oxygen. I just don't have the lung capacity that I used to because he is taking up more room in my stomach and pushing everything else kind of aside. Also heartburn, heartburn. I feel like I've had heartburn throughout like the second trimester and then mostly in my third trimester. Hasn't really gotten any worse for me, but I do use the Tums when I cannot sleep because when I lay down, I feel like it gets worse. That's when you need the antacid or because I, I just won't go to sleep, I would just lay there. Don't mind our backyard. We're moving, so we didn't do anything to it, okay? So it's just pretty forest. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys my belly for the end of 32 weeks. Dogs, stop eating grass. Hey. Okay, so the end of 32 weeks belly is just tight. He likes to sit back and then he comes forward, so then my belly just gets tight. Um, I am getting some more stretch marks. Um, where my belly button was here, so I feel like it's gonna burst open, but I know it won't. Also, I'm getting the black hair still, <laughs> but um, I can always feel a foot up here, somewhere in here, and his butt is like always right here still. So that's fun. Also, back of my legs. Okay. We've been oiling them and stuff, so hopefully they'll get better. So yeah, that is our baby bump at 32 weeks. Okay, so we're gonna get into the kind of gross symptoms. I know this is like a family channel and stuff, but I do want to prep moms that are becoming a new mom that will be experiencing this stuff. Because I didn't know a lot of this stuff and I wanna help people who are becoming moms or help people in other ways on my channel. And I feel like this is one of them. So if you don't want to hear the gross bodily side <laughs> of pregnancy, go ahead and skip through this. That way you don't have to uh, listen to it. So right now, as a woman who is pregnant at 32 weeks, your nipples will get darker. I didn't know why. I always knew that was a pregnancy sign. And symptom it says it everywhere on the internet when you look up you know symptoms of being pregnant when you think you are pregnant but right now your nipples will get darker but it's for the baby <laughs> so it's when your nipples get darker it's easier for the baby to see them when they first come out that way they can breastfeed and know exactly where they are another thing is bigger boobs because they're getting ready to start producing the milk and they're producing colostrum so they are becoming breastfeeding boobs and they will leak so lately mine have been leaking you guys know that and it's just prepping for the milk it's the colostrum also the lovely wonders of a womanhood I feel weird talking about it, but it has to be said. Vaginal discharge. So that is, so basically what it tells me is that it's your body preparing for delivery by preventing infection down there. So discharge is normal. I kind of had a freak out when it first started happening to me, but these are things that you just don't know that are gonna happen. Always, always, always ask questions at your OB. I always feel like I'm gonna ask a stupid question, but I ask it and it's actually very informative. I feel like if I didn't ask that question, it wouldn't have put my brain to ease. So seriously, if you have any questions for your OB, they've probably already been asked it. So just ask the question. Make sure that you know that you're doing everything you can for your body and your baby 
in prepping for that delivery to make it easier on you. That's why they're there. They help women every day, all day long, prepping to be a mom. And that's something I've actually had to overcome because it was just weird. I've never been, uh, feel vulnerable, I guess, at a doctor's office just because everything is so different. At those appointments, you, you know, very, they're very personal and uh, in depth and lots of information about things that you normally just would not talk about with your body unless it was like a really big issue. But yeah, becoming a mom is fun. Pregnancy, I enjoy it, but parts of it I do not enjoy. And so I'm kind of approaching that time where I'm just kind of ready to have him and have him in my arms and have everything just kind of fall into place and learn him and uh, Damon and I learn our new routine but I'm super excited also I really hope we hear about the apartment soon and then that way you know we can do like a house tour and stuff and do a ton of moving and organizing and decorating and stuff like that and especially the nursery like getting everything ready for that um sorry he's like in my ribs anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up also if you're new to my channel or you just haven't yet subscribed please be sure to do so and hit that bell that way you can get all the notifications on our upcoming videos like our move getting ready for the baby and everything like that I will also be posting a video of when I go into labor and posting it up so everybody knows I'm in active labor. And if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave them down below. And I love reading them and I love replying to them. So anyways, thank you so much and I hope you guys have a really good Friday. I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!